Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create these animated patterns. So I've got this compilation here of these animated patterns and we're gonna go run through the first four. Uh, the other four will be available on my Patreon page. There you can support me and you can download the project files for all my videos, so the After Effects and our Illustrator files. Plus also see uh, exclusive and extended videos. So this extended video will be available on my Patreon. So we're gonna start with the first four patterns and the first one is this one. Let's zoom out here. So it's kind of moving and growing and moving and it's looping around as well, of course. So this looks great. So I have this clean composition with all these shapes and my shapes in here are, are this, let's zoom out a bit, this purple uh, background here, very simple. This pink background and we have these three white arrows. There's one at the off, off screen here and we have two, uh, three black ones here as well. So, um, Let's put them on top. So first off, we're going to give this a position, but uh, one thing to notice is that at the top here, I have my anchor point. So if I uh, scale this down, it scales to that top point and you can move your anchor point with this pan behind tool. So uh, if I put it at the right here, I scale down, it scales to that point and you can turn on snapping here and then you can snap it, boom, to the top, turn off snapping. So those are parented to the, or um, uh, anchored to the top here, and these ones are anchored to the bottom here. So first off, we're going to give these, uh, let's give all of them a position keyframe, and then let's go here, and the white ones, we're going to um, place them over there perfectly, and the black ones to the other side, nice like that okay give this some easing and now they are moving now way too fast let's see how fast i did it in this example here um 20 frames so if you go here and if you hold option uh, no sorry command and shift and the right arrow key you move 10 frames and then again and again 10 frames so then we have 20 frames so whew, nice and then what happens next here is is so first it moves uh, to the right and to the left and then those ones scale down and new ones appear with the with a, a different color so i'm going to go to pattern one here and on this side here we're going to go to scale press s click 20 frames further and we're going to scale this all down to zero so now they are gone like that all right nice you don't really have to scale this one of course because it's off screen but hey Let's just do it. So in here they stop, so I'm gonna select them all and then um, option N brackets to end them there. So the layer stops, so it's a bit more, we have a bit better view of everything. So it goes to the left, right, and it scales. So now I'm going to duplicate all of these layers. So pressing Command D and then place them at, at the top here. And then um, it's a bit difficult to see maybe. I'm going to select, deselect everything. Take these top ones here, press U. Okay, and then I'm going to just um, delete all of these keyframes, like that. So, uh, and these ones need to grow in. So press S to only open the scale, and then uh, place those over the, at the end. And then we're gonna go to zero here at the beginning. So now they will kind of zoom in, but they are parented from the, or they're um, anchored at the wrong part, as you can see. So we're going to uh, press Command Z, and first set the, um, so them at the correct uh, anchor point. So these ones now need to scale from the bottom here. So put uh, snapping on and your pen behind tool, and then you can only do that uh, once, uh, one at a time. Oh, and you see they have this stripe here, and that's because they still have a position keyframe, which I didn't delete yet. So delete all of those, okay. And then these ones, I'm going to use my uh, anchor point. You all, uh, it's a free plugin, so click, and it instantly moves the anchor point to the top there, which is a bit faster. So on this one, one frame further, uh, s scale right there, and then zero. Well, zero, yep. And then select all of them and give them the same easing. So now these ones grow as the other ones are ungrowing. So, boom, there you go. So now they slide in. And now what I need to do is change the color of these ones to this 
black and these three just to back it a bit uh, I have no whites yet yeah. um, and make them white so now we get this different loop so now these ones need to of course be longer and they are going to uh, position out of the screen uh, off screen again so go P for position click and then 20 frames again and then let's make them move back here so I'm gonna make them move over there I made these whoop, I did something on accident yeah these three to the left here and give them this easing boom and now we're back at the beginning no they need to change of course one more time so now I'm going to give these another scale so go to S click 20 frames to the right zero give them this nice easing so now they're going boom they're um, going smaller again that means that we need these uh, first for these ones again pressing command D placing them on top with command shift and bracket place them all on top let's delete all of these keyframes from these ones all right and I'm going to place them over here on this one and these ones let's just turn these off for now these ones are moving uh, from um, they're scaling down to the middle so these ones will need to scale from the top so they're already correct so I'm going to give them a scale click place them over at the end here and at the beginning place those at zero wait I'm going here like that and then of course give them the correct easing boom nice and there you go this is an animated pattern number one finished click all right cool let's go to number two we have this one you can't see anything so let's go to 2b it's just this scaling down of these infinite looping um, squares kind of so let's open this up i have this uh, as you can see oh at the top one here you have this pink one and then we have the same one in what's this white and then a purple one also all the same shapes the perfectly aligned same shape so i'm going to scale this from one 210 they are now so they kind of uh, fill the screen barely you can see here so give them a scale back to zero at the end here so zero and then they are scaling down yeah so I, i'm going to go uh, ahead 20 frames so 12 one, two, and place the anchor point over there and then 10 frames further i'm going to put this one and then 10, fr 10 frames further again is this one uh, so put it over there nice okay so now we have this thing scaling down so now i'm going to select all of them press command d to duplicate them put them at the bottom here press U to open all the keyframes and then select all of them so I'm going to drag if I just click on uh, scale here I select all of them and these ones as well and these ones as well so I can just drag out these keyframes and then put the starting point here as you can see drag them out so now we have this perfectly um, nice revolving pattern number three we have this shape here and what this does is as you can see it turns around so it gets a rotation then it zooms in and we have the new color appearing like that and then that turns around the other way and then we have it zooming in again and then we're back at the beginning like that so um, first off I'm going to select this let's see what we have here we have this uh, green shape here oh there it is the green shape we have the pink shape and we have this ball and we have this half ball so first off I'm going to select everything go to uh, rotation the R click and then 20 frames further I'm going to uh, drag them while holding shift so they perfectly um, go, go perfectly horizontal straight so that's one turning around and then at this point I want them all to scale up so scale 20 frames further and then just scale that up let's say to about 250 I guess 250 nice 
And actually, these at the bottom don't need to scale because you can see them scale because they're just in the middle, but it's all right. So select them, give them some easing. So now they're turning, scaling. And in the middle here, I would need these two uh, shapes to duplicate them and put them at the top. And I'm going to actually delete this rotation here and um, drag them in. And we're going to, um, they are having a scale as well. So they need to scale down uh, from zero to 100, scale up, I mean. So I'm going to place them here and place them at 100. So scale, and then here, zero. So now they're scaling up as well, as you can see, but they're um, not the right colors. So I'm going to give them this one, okay. And the white one, I'm going to make green. Cool. Give them some easing. Boom, there you go. And then these, uh, this one needs to rotate and these two as well, of course. So select all of them, go to R, click on the stopwatch and on these ones here to make new ones, 20 frames further. And I'm going to turn them the other way around and then select all of those and give them some easing as well. So now we get this turning around, zooming in, turning around, and then zooming in and so we're back at the beginning then at the, after that point. So now this one needs to zoom in as well again. So let's one, two, three, four, scale, 20 frames. And I'm gonna go to 250 again. Give them a nice easing. And I'm going to duplicate these two, the zooming, zooming scaling balls and put them here at this point. So now the, we have the same uh, thing again. Oh, I'm going to go back and just delete all of the other ones here. So it's kind of nice and neat. And they are not rotated correctly. So rotate those. And then I think the bottom one was white. Yeah. So the bottom one was, oop, was white. So go over here, pick with that color. And this one was then, the green one was then black. So now they're okay, like that. And that looks nice. Cool, but now I think I made a mistake because pink and green color uh, reversed. So I'm going to have to change this one to green and this one uh, to pink. Click, so now it is perfect. Do I have a correct easy on all of this? I think so. So I think we have it there, turning around, boom. Perfect loop, so that's number three, done. Number four, we have this shape and what's going on over here is kind of kind of harmonic, you know, scaling in, really easy one. We just have these shapes, we have this um, purple shape, we have these, oop, we have these two black shapes and the same on the left here. So uh, what I did is just to make it easy, select these uh, three, press Command Shift C to make, let's call this a uh, dark um, pattern. And let's call these light pattern. Uh, turn those on. So we have these two. And we're going to put the anchor point here at the bottom. So click. And in the middle, actually, I want this one to be, yeah, it doesn't really matter though, but I'm just, it feels better to have them here. Okay, and then uh, if I scale those down, if I go to S for scaling, then they're scaling like this, I don't want that. So I'm gonna click on this button here to constrain proportions, turn that off. So now I can only um, scale them in one direction, X or uh, Y. So I'm going to scale them down here to 50%, 50. Go to scale, make a keyframe, and then at the beginning, first let's put them at zero, and then 20 frames further I want this one. Now they are scaling up to the middle. And yeah, and they're going in three steps. So they're going from zero to 50. Let's give them those easing. Then they're gonna go 20 frames further to 100. Nice, okay. So now they're going 50, 100. And then um, they need to kind of go up again, of course. Uh, so as you can see here, I've created new, I've duplicated them because right now the anchor point here is at the bottom. So they scale up. But if I want them to scale kind of from the bottom needs to scale to this middle point here. 
So that means that this anchor point needs to be at the top here because I need to scale it from that point. So I duplicated it here and then put it at the top here. So let's, I'll show you how. So this ones, I need to duplicate those, put them at the top here. Nope. Uh, no, at the top. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay, and then let's open it up. Let's delete all of these keyframes here. And I'm gonna go to scale again, and then put the anchor point at the top here. So I'm gonna use this tool, boom. And then let's leave in the middle, that's fine. And then um, 20 frames to the right, click, click. And then I'm gonna um, make these 50 again. And then click, click, and then make them zero. So now they are moving correctly, but um, these ones are still there. So they need to be kind of cut off right there. So now we have, uh, oh, and these need to be cut off right here, of course, otherwise you can see them. Oh. So now we have going up, 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 looking great. Let's give them the same easing, all of them. So this is good, uh, but now they need to be duplicated, of course, uh, because they're not showing up. Um, uh, ben beneath so i'm going to press command d put them at the bottom here and then kind of re um retime them so now they are uh, working perfectly and these ones then need to be over there oh and i think these ones yep cool and now i need to reverse those of course, as you can see. So let's just give um, this one, put it over there, and this one over there. And the same thing here. Swap them around. And I'm doing this kind of uh, quickly now, of course, but you can add some uh, guides. I think I have them here. Yeah, and then you can kind of snap them to the guides to make them perfectly aligned. But for now, for educational purposes, oh, that's not great. This is uh, will will be good for now. No, that's not good. Yeah, like that. So as you can see, I'm doing it quick and dirty. But there you go. That's that pattern number four animated, quick and easy. So that's it for this uh, video. If you want to see the other ones animated, we have uh, this one. Let's go to pattern number five. We have um, this thing animating, like moving around. We have Number six, which is a difficult one, like all these crazy shapes here. And number seven is like pretty easy. Just these balls kind of in this, uh, turning around in this um, loop here. And then number eight is also pretty easy, but really cool. These arrows kind of pointing up. So as I said earlier, if you want to see those, head on to my Patreon page and you can download the project files for this whole video as well. Uh, and you can watch the second part of this tutorial there, the extended version of this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.